and welcome back to this segment on our channel called Answering Your Most Googled Medical Questions by Heidi Gastro and today's video is a super interesting one. So let's get started. So in today's video we'll explore the question, what are the top 10 most deadly bacteria to humans? So bacteria are microscopic single cell organisms that live almost everywhere and thrive in almost every climate and location on earth. Some bacteria are airborne and some live in water or soil, and some thrive on and inside plants, animals, and people. Every individual possesses 10 times more bacterial cells in our body than we do human cells. Most bacteria in the body are harmless and some are even helpful, allowing the body to maintain itself in a healthy manner. However, a relatively small number of bacterial species can go on to cause disease, which can in fact be very deadly. Each year, millions of people die because of these infectious agents and because of their ability to multiply in our bodies and take advantage of our immune system. So here are the top 10 most deadly bacteria to humans. Number 1 is tuberculosis. So TB is the leading infectious cause of death in the world, killing 1.4 million people worldwide each year. Each day, nearly 4,000 people lose their lives due to TB and close to 28,000 people fall ill with this disease. TB is caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which generally infiltrates the lungs and causes chronic cough, blood-stained sputum, fever, night sweats, and weight loss in its victims. There is also a growing resistance to available drugs, which means the disease is becoming more and more deadly and more difficult to treat. The exact cause of death in TB patients is generally respiratory distress, which usually occurs in patients with latent tuberculosis. Number 2 is Streptococcus. So bacteria called Group A Streptococcus or Group A Strep is a gram-positive bacteria that can cause many different types of infections in the body, including strep throat, conjunctivitis, meningitis, bacterial pneumonia, endocarditis, impetigo, toxic shock syndrome and necrotizing fasciitis, which is a flesh-eating bacterial infection. Experts say that about 20-30% to 30 of all streptococcal infections can be fatal. Two of the most serious illnesses that these bacteria cause that usually leads to death is streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, also known as STSS, and necrotizing fasciitis. In the streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, the individual's blood pressure drops rapidly and their organs like their kidneys, liver and lungs also fail after the immune system overreacts and in necrotizing fasciitis, the infection works its way rapidly through the layers of the individual's tissues, which are in fact their fascias, that surrounds their muscles, also leading quickly to shock and death. Number 3 is Syphilis so syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease caused by a bacterium called Treponema pallidum. The disease can usually be completely cured in its initial stages of the disease, but if left untreated, it can lead to life-threatening complications. Tertiary syphilis occurs 10 to 30 years after the initial onset of the infection and causes gummas, which are soft tissue swellings, damage to the heart, blood vessels, liver, bones, and joints and will eventually result in multiple organ failure and death in these patients. Statistics now show that syphilis has a mortality rate of 8% to 58% with a greater rate among males than females. Number 4 is Staphylococcus. So Staphylococcus aureus is the most dangerous of all the many common staphylococcal bacteria and these are gram-positive bacteria which often cause skin infections, lung infections such as pneumonia, heart valve infections such as endocarditis, and bone infections such as osteomyelitis. Some staph infections are resistant to the antibiotics that are commonly used to treat them, and these infections are called methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA infections. The majority of the MRSA infections also lead to sepsis, which is the body's overwhelming response to the infection, and shock, and eventually death too. Number 5 is Klebsiella. So Klebsiella is a type of gram-negative bacteria that can also cause different types of healthcare-associated infections, including pneumonia, urinary tract infections, bloodstream infections, wound or surgical site infections, and meningitis. 
Death in these patients usually result from untreated bacterial meningitis or a bloodstream infection, which is called sepsis, caused by the Klebsiella pneumoniae carbapenemases, or the KPC, producing strains which tend to hydrolyze carbapenems, which is a class of antibiotics usually used to treat these Klebsiella infections. These bacteria are also often resistant to a variety of other antibiotics as well, which makes them even harder to treat, which in turn makes them more deadly. Number 6 is tetanus. So tetanus is an infection caused by a bacteria called Clostridium tetani. When these bacteria invade the body, they produce a poisonous toxin that causes painful muscle contractions throughout the body. Another name for tetanus is locked jaw because it usually causes a person's neck and jaw muscles to lock, making it harder for them to open their mouth or even swallow. Even with treatment, about 10% of all individuals who do contract tetanus will die. This is because the infection interferes with the body's ability to breathe, which leads to respiratory distress and then death. Number 7 is Febrio cholera. So cholera is an acute diarrheal disease caused by an infection of the intestine with the toxigenic bacterium Febrio cholera. An estimated 2.9 million cases occur each year with approximately 95,000 deaths worldwide. Every 1 in 10 people who do get sick with cholera will develop severe symptoms such as watery diarrhea, vomiting and leg cramps, which can quickly lead to dehydration, electrolyte imbalances and shock. Without treatment, death in cholera can occur within hours. Number 8 is Salmonella. So Salmonella infection, also called Salmonellosis, is one of the most common types of food poisoning infections caused by the Salmonella bacteria. Most infections are spread to people through contaminated food, usually meat, poultry, eggs or milk. An estimated 93.8 million Salmonella infections occur each year, of which an estimated 80.3 million are foodborne, and 155,000 deaths each year also occur. Death in these patients may occur due to one of two reasons, either extreme dehydration and shock because of the patient's diarrhea, or due to the Salmonella's bacteria entering the bloodstream causing septic shock in these patients. Number 9 is Clostridium botulonum. So Clostridium botulonum is a gram-positive spore-forming bacterium with the ability to produce a neurotoxin called botulonum. Botulism is a rare but serious illness in which the botulonum toxin attacks the body's nerves and causes difficulty in breathing as well as paralysis of the arms and leg muscles. Respiratory failure generally causes death in untreated individuals because the infection causes life-threatening breathing problems through the tightening of the vocal cords and muscle rigidity in the neck and abdomen of these patients. And finally, number 10, which is E. coli. So Escherichia coli, better known as E. coli, are a common diverse group of bacteria found in food, the environment, and in the intestines of both humans and certain warm-blooded animals. While E. coli has a bad reputation, the truth is that most strains of E. coli are actually harmless and only some can actually go on to cause serious food poisonings or urinary tract infections. Eating raw or undercooked ground meat products raw milk or experiencing fecal contamination from vegetables can often lead to a severe E. coli intestinal infection, resulting in dehydration and serious complications, such as hemolytic uremic syndrome, kidney failure and sometimes even death if it's not treated promptly. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share and please make sure you turn on your bell notification so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you would like to help us make better videos and content, you can also donate to us via PayPal. Take care and thanks for joining me today as I explore the top 10 most deadly bacteria to humans.